This tutorial is to show you how to set up user codes or account control on your Sharp copier to monitor printing or restrict certain rights. First, navigate to the machine's web page by typing the IP address into the address bar of a web browser. This can be obtained by printing a NIC page if you do not know your IP address. I have a separate video linked below on how to print out your NIC page with the IP. First, click User Control on the left menu. At this point, it will ask you to log in. The default password is admin, A-D-M-I-N. Click Log In. Then, under User Control, click Default Settings. We need to enable user authentication and choose which type of authentication you want. Normally, we just do authenticate by a number only and click Submit. Once we have enabled authentication, go to the Authority Group list to create the groups with the rights that we want. Click Administrator Login, type in Admin again, click Login. There is already a color group created here which basically has full rights to print in color black and white and scan in color in black and white. But what we want to do is create one with restricted access by clicking add underneath and for example sake I'll just create a group called black and white and I'll prohibit black and or color printing and copying. You can see here that you can fine-tune this as much as you would like. Uh, as far as scanning, I, color scanning is fine. Nothing is charged for that. So then we'll click Submit. Now we have a color and a black and white group, so we can create our users under User List on the left. Click Add. This can be the username will be either the person's name or perhaps a department. User number, it's five to eight digits. You can assign whatever code you would like. Once you put this in here, you cannot see what it is anymore, so keep a list of all your user numbers. And then just scroll down and under authority group, this is where we'll choose from our two authority lists that we just made, color or black and white. This particular user can have color rights. Then scroll down and click submit. If you're going to enter several users, you can click Submit and Register Next to bring a blank form back up. 